Hey guys, it's Samantha, and today I am finally getting back to memory keeping, and I'm doing my spread for the first week of June in my old Erin Condren planner. I still have the rest of June to get through, which is a little overwhelming considering it's the end of October right now, but we will get there eventually. I felt a little weird coming back and having my first spread be very springy or summery, so I decided to pull in a lot of rose gold, and I used an anytime kit that leaned a little on the fall side. I was able to pull in you know, that rose gold and some olive greens, fall tones. It worked out really well. I played around with a bunch of rose gold overlay tapes from both Girl Boss Anna and Rose Color Days, and I did struggle quite a bit with the Rose Color Days perforated full box overlays. I actually didn't have trouble with the headers this time, which is something I've had trouble with in the past. So if you guys have any tips on how to get overlays to not rip, please share them in the comments down below. You'll see it was a little difficult for me. So I did end up using this Girl Boss Anna bottom washi overlay tape that was from, I believe, her Valentine's Day she did a collab with someone. There was a Valentine's Day collection. So this one says love and has hearts on it. But since this kit is an old Scribble Prince Co. mini kit uh, of Princess and the Frog inspired stuff, I thought the love was okay since it is kind of a love story. I decided to do my sidebar the way I do my sidebar in my main planner because I this kit doesn't have extra full boxes and it was a mini kit so it didn't have a lot of extras and I didn't want to get creative with trying to find squared off half boxes that matched or waiting a bunch of stuff out. I wanted to keep it simple and I'd actually used a mini kit in my planner for this week, my actual planner. So I just copied my to-do list and a, a hack I have for mini kits. If you're a person that does checklists on the sidebar is I take the weekly checklist, weekly ombre, weekly list, not checklist. You know what I'm talking about. I can't remember what they're called, but I take Magic Prince Co. foiled check boxes. They fit perfectly over the letters that indicate the days of the week on those weekly ombre boxes, and I use them as a checklist. So you actually end up getting a few bonus <laughs> checklist items on there, which is nice. And then I used my Rose Color Days to-do script, and I really love that hot pink rose gold Simply Gilded washi. I had been wanting to use this kit I think this kid's over two years old at this point. I want to say maybe J. Crew Plans did the art for this back when she was doing kit art for Andrea. I could be totally misremembering that. But I really loved this kit and I've had it scheduled, I don't know, maybe five or in five or six different weeks, and it's always gotten bumped for something else. And I'm went through the kit I originally had planned for this week was that Scribble Prince Co. monthly, not monthly, but the subscription kit from either earlier this year, I get maybe it was earlier this year because I think there was a foil sheet in or last year. It was a spa, like a mint and peach toned spa day kind of kit. And I thought it would work with the peach of May and the green of June and when I went to go pull it out to use it I just realized I wasn't really a huge fan of the kit. I'm not a big fan of Coffee Doodle's faces and there were quite a lot of faces in it and I just realized I didn't really like it so I think I'm gonna post it on the buy sell trade because I know there are a lot of people that really like Coffee Doodle's artwork so I'm going to pass it on to someone who will enjoy it more than me and since I do have all of the pieces, parts of it together, I'm just going to post it on buy, sell, trade, which I've never done before. I, I actually have a stack of several monthly subscriptions that 
over the past couple years, I just haven't ended up using. So I'm going to try to sell those. But anyways, I did decide to pull in the solid rose gold foil headers, header tape from Rose Color Days. And that worked out really well. Those I had no trouble ripping. It's a different, more vinyl kind of material. So it doesn't rip the way that clear plastic does where it starts ripping and then it keeps going and it'll, you know, spiral all the way around and you, it's, you know, a never ending issue. But I did that to replace the sand color glitter header because I wasn't a huge fan of that. And then I did the rose gold overlay tapes. This was originally, I pulled this out thinking this was a header size and then I realized it was 10 millimeter, not header size. It was a a rose pattern and so I started opening that from Girl Boss and I started opening that and then realized that wasn't the right size for a header and so I grabbed my rose colored days rose gold so many roses I feel like I'm saying rose a lot it was a rose tape and then rose gold and rose colored days so I grabbed her confetti overlays and I actually didn't struggle with this the way I struggled when I used the silver for one of my March spreads. I think it was the black and green caress press Chanel inspired kit and I struggled very hard with the headers then. So I feel like I kind of worked it out or I don't know if this is from a different batch, but I did not have any headers rip or tear they worked the way they were supposed to, which was great, but I did not have the same luck with the full box overlays. I think I probably ended up throwing out 30 or 40, the equivalent of 30 or 40, because my roll kept ripping and it would rip into like multiple boxes. I was just very frustrated and I want to love them. I like the idea. I like that there's less waste. I like that it's more cost efficient, but it took me over two hours to do this whole spread. Doing the foundation took over an hour. I've highly edited this down. The first part I did just at 300 times because I wanted to talk about the different foil choices I made since I was using so many different foil things. Normally I do the whole foundation part at 600% and this part's at 600% and I cut out so much stuff. It took me probably 35 or 40 minutes to get all of the overlays down. And that's just not really practical if you are doing this every week, especially if you're like me, ideally doing two spreads a week. See, you can see how that ripped there when I was trying to tear it, it ripped into the next box. So then I just couldn't figure out how to get it off. And I was trying to use tweezers there and there's still a little it's still not perfect on that hedge in my finished spread. It was just very difficult. I tried pulling the boxes off on their own first and they just kept ripping. So then I tried putting it down first and then ripping it once the box was on the paper. And it just, I was really struggling. So please pass on any advice you have. I use the Girl Boss Anna non perforated tape for the scene box. And honestly, even cutting it was way faster than how many boxes I had to go through to get just the six perforated tapes took me probably four or five times longer than it would have been to just put down tape, overlay tape and cut it with a slice tool. So it wasn't really saving me time. But again, I really would love any tips, tricks you have for working with it because it was just, there was a ball of ripped up overlay tape in my trash can when I was done with this and I really want to love them. So please, if you have advice, let me know. I did use Rose Color Days date headers at the top, this really nice taupe color with a rose gold foil. And this was my first time filming on my new camera, so it was really nice to just be able to zoom in. And oh, this is also, I had such bad luck with this spread. Talk about frustration when this was my first spread that I've done in on camera in a while, other than that one where I put down the foundation for my birthday week. 
but the rose color days and Jasenia collab holidays I realized didn't have Memorial Day on them and I don't have her original holiday scripts in rose gold that was an oversight on my part and I keep forgetting to order them because I have them in gold like gold silver <laughs> hollow but not in rose gold so I don't use rose gold that often so that's probably why I didn't notice I didn't have them, but I feel like I've run into this problem before. So I did end up using the Scribble Prince Co. Rose Gold, which is more of a shiny pink than an actual rose gold for Memorial Day since I wanted to use a Memorial Day script and that was as close as I could get. But that's the only Scribble Prince Co. Rose Gold I used in this kit. I'm already way ahead of myself. On Monday, I slept in because it was Memorial Day. I was off and we had Taco Bell breakfast. And then I had an Amazon package that came through. Then I planned the week ahead in my main planner, and I played Mario with Joe. This is when we were on our Mario, was it Mario Odyssey, Mario, what the one for Switch. I can't remember names. My memory's so bad. And then Joe and I went for a really long walk, and I actually had quite a bit of anxiety that evening, so I marked that with a Once More With Love munchkin. Tuesday morning, I unloaded the dishwasher, and then I put in a sort of feeling herself kind of girl that I, I've i got this, I have it, I was going to be okay. I was just feeling, I think, very overwhelmed. I'm trying to remember what, what, I don't remember what I was specifically feeling anxious about, but I think I was trying to go into my week feeling a little more motivated, feeling a little less down. And I wanted to mark it in my planner that I was feeling fabulous, that I was, I was going to succeed. I was going to have a good week. And so on Tuesday night, I had a Walmart pickup after work and Amazon package. I used a Clever Gal Crafts Heart to mark that a Simply Gilded pre-order Happy Mail arrived. And then I called my mom and I watched YouTube. And then Wednesday, I used some Simply Gilded washi tape just to zhuzh things up. And I used a paper shire girl planning with a cup of coffee to mark that I spent Wednesday morning, since I work late, I spent Wednesday morning planning and drinking my coffee. And then I did a load of towels, which I marked with a rose gold foiled Clever Gal Crafts stack of towels. And then I went to work from 12 to 8. And I'm adding a little checklist there. I think that was, I forgot to mention that was my cell phone bill was due. I didn't, I really don't want to get into my multicolor. So I didn't even pull out bill due kind of stuff. I just used icons from the kit. So Wednesday, I had to order a ton of paint tubes for programming over the summer. The brand of paint that a couple of the librarians and I really like that's affordable and we like the color selection isn't sold in stores at Michael's stores. So we had to order it in bulk online. So I had to get approval. I think I ordered like $150 worth of paint, something like that. And I... It was an ordeal. I had to order so much paint and checking what colors everyone needed for programming over the summer, that sort of thing. And then for dinner on Wednesday night, we had McDonald's. I watched YouTube and I bread. On Thursday, Joe was on call, which is wild because Joe hasn't been on call since July. <laughs> so to me, it's so weird going back and filming this. I forgot how often Joe was on call. It seems like he hasn't been on call in forever, but it's only been a few months that he hasn't been doing call. August, September, into October, so not even three full months of no call. And then I used a bow, a foiled bow from Clever Gal Crafts to mark payday. And since uh, Memorial Day was Monday, we had trash day on Thursday instead of Wednesday. And then I also used this fox and cactus middle finger girl to mark something that happened at work that just because it involves other people, I can't go into too much detail but it was it was something that was a long time coming and i was happy it finally happened so we had i had that on thursday and then i had poke fresh for dinner and then i went out with some of my old coworkers just to get caught up on old library my old library gossip that sort of thing 
And it was just a lot of fun because they are coworkers that I don't talk to very often. So we had a lot to get caught up on. And it was it was really fun. And I hadn't been back to that bar in quite a while. And it's just a really fun, cute bar. It was good to go back. So on Friday, I'm so, so far behind there. I'm putting down my Rose Color Days Rose Gold Weekend Banner. How many times can I say rose in this plane with me? But on Friday, my internet bill was due. We had, I got Starbucks on my way to work. And then I didn't have much going on on Friday. So I marked SPC new releases at noon. And then this was the day I got approved for my advanced copy of The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern, which I ended up really loving, but I was so excited. This was my most hyped book for 2019. And I was thrilled that I got to read it a few months early. And then Friday, I watched about 50 or 60% of Always Be My Maybe. I never went back and finished it. I just didn't really care. I'm not a big movie person, and it was just okay. So Saturday, I slept in, and I used a Paper Shire Sleeping Beauty and some Simply Gilded Washi to mark that. And then Joe and I went on a walk, and then I read, and I used a Wonton and a Million, I think that's a Steamy, to mark that I read. And then I, I really messed this up here, I guess. I filmed on Saturday and I put some Magic Prince Co. icon and script over a piece of washi. I was trying to use this Mandy Dreams film slate, but the orange wasn't quite, quite right. And I kept moving it so many times it ended up getting really bent and crinkled. So I just tossed it and grabbed a rose gold foiled film slate and... Then Saturday, we had such atrocious weather this spring. We had so much rain. The week after this was the first time our basement flooded with sewer water. And we had a ton of hail and storms on Saturday night, enough that I marked it. I don't often mark weather, but I did mark weather quite a few times this spring when it was really extreme or bad. And my allergies were pretty bad this weekend, so I marked that I was sneezy. And then on Saturday night, I had some wine and I read. Sunday, Joe was on call all day, and so I marked that at the top, and then I unloaded the dishwasher. I used a Planner Kate laundry, not laundry, a Planner Kate washing machine to mark laundry day, and then I used another sticker from my Once More With Love allergy sheet to mark bad allergies. Then I grabbed another piece of washi and a Tiana sticker from that same paper shire princess sheet that I'd grabbed the sleeping beauty from and a rose gold script for most color days that says me time I did end up moving everything over a little bit to the left because I didn't like that it looked like the tea was poking her in the eye I thought it looked weird so I did move her over to the left eventually and so Sunday was just all about me time I read and I watched YouTube and just chilled out since I was Home alone, which is so weird because now Joe isn't on call anymore. It's really nice to finally have him working a more normal schedule, not have call this year. It's it's really quite lovely. <laughs> so that was everything for this week. And I really love how this week turned out. I intentionally kept it more white space just to make this go by a little faster, make it a little more easy breezy, simple for me since I am sort of out of practice with memory keeping. And I really, really love how it turned out. I think it's super pretty. I pulled in lots of olive green, lots of hot pink, lots and lots and lots of rose gold. And I'm just very, very happy. So I have started my next week's spread already. So hopefully there will be more memory keeping spreads coming your way sooner than later. I actually didn't film the the layout of the next one, but I'm going to do the day-by-day film. So we'll look forward to that because it's a good one. Here's the wiggle. It's so shiny. I love all this rose gold. I'm in a very rose gold mood right now. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!